setting and using a rebate plane. Rebate plane gives you a check for a rebate down the edge of your material. And the idea of that is that you can use it to fit in, for instance, a backboard or the bottom of a drawer or the bottom of a box, something like that. So it gives you this rebate, this check, and you'll see this one's been done. The plane, like all planes, has a main body and it has a sole on the bottom. It also has this fence. And this can be adjusted by loosening off this screw and this fence controls how far in the rebate goes. So this determines this size here, the distance in from the, the face of your material. The other part I have here is called the foot and again it's a, an adjustment screw, I can loosen this off and then I can adjust the foot and the foot determines how deep the rebate goes, so how far into the edge of your material. And once this foot hits this edge here, it stops the plane from cutting any deeper and that's you down whatever depth you need, 5mm, 8mm, whatever it happens to be. To set this up, we need to put the blade into the body and we put the blade in with the beveled part so again, it's similar to a chisel down the way. And you can, you can check this because the blade has some uh, recesses on it and the recesses fit into this adjustment lever. And this adjustment lever determines how far the blade sticks out the sole or the bottom of the plane. So we need to set the adjustment lever in the middle, put the blade in, line it up with the recerations, Make sure we have some adjustment on the blade before you put the calf iron on. To set the blade, I want to make sure that I've advanced it just out the bottom of the sole and no more. That, for instance, is too far, so I need to pull that back a wee bit. If the blade's sticking out too far, it'll dig into the material and it'll be harder to use. The easiest way to check it is just to put a rule on it and see if you can wobble the rule back and forward, just a fraction of a millimetre. And you can hear a wee rattle there. That blade's set to the right distance out from the bottom of the plane, out from the, the sole. I need to make sure that the corner of the blade is just hanging over the edge of the frame and no more. And then I'm going to take my rule and I'm going to set the, dis set the distance from the fence to the corner of the blade. In this case, I'm going to use six millimeters. And then I'm just going to tighten that screw up. I'm going to check it, make sure it hasn't moved. I'm happy with that. Get my screwdriver, tighten that up. Again, I'm going to set the foot so that the blade will cut six millimetres into the material. So I loosen off this adjustment screw. I can just push the blade, eh, sorry, push the foot in with my rule until I get to six millimetres. Tighten this up, the locking screw. Check it, make sure it hasn't moved. Happy with that. And then just give it a final tighten. As before, I'm going to put some wax on it. This helps the, the plane glide over the material easier. I'm going to clamp my material in the vise. Make sure it's good and tight. I'm going to start at this end. I'm going to use a forefinger down the side of the plane just to guide it. Three fingers around the handle, thumb on top. You can hold the plane like that, the plane. What you're better doing is you're better running your fingers along the face of your material, putting your thumb on there so you can just give the blade a wee twist, a wee bit of pressure. Start at this end, and then just from one end, far away, and just work towards your body. And 
I need to make sure that I hold the plane straight up and down the way because I want to make sure that the bottom of that wee bait is at 90 degrees. This corner here is at 90 degrees. This is parallel to that and that's parallel to that. I don't want to end up with an angle on the bottom of my material because if I do that, I have less gluing surface, I have less support for whatever I'm putting into that wee bait. So I need, need to make sure that I take the wee bait all the way down, keep going until the foot stops you from going any further. Take your material out the vise, you'll see I haven't gone deep enough there. I'm down the full depth at this end, so I need to go back into the vise again. Tighten it back up. Keep going. Check it again. I'm happy with that. I'm actually down four and a half millimetres instead of six. So what I can do, instead of readjusting the plane, I can just advance the blade down a wee bit. And I can just take that last wee cut. And that's me down by six millimetres. Rebate plane. Use to put a check down the side of your material. One important thing worth mentioning, Clean the cuttings out between the, the frame and the cap iron. Use either the back of a pencil or an old paintbrush, but don't use a screwdriver or a chisel because what you'll do is you'll damage the blade. And if you damage the blade, it just makes it harder for you to use. Rebate plate.